welcome back everyone so if you have recently upgraded to windows 11 or made a clean installation of windows 11 then trust me there are lots of things that you need to change and that's what i will be discussing in this video that what you have to do next when you have installed the windows 11 so without any delay let's quickly get started now the very first thing that is recommended that you should go ahead and create a restore point now the restore point can help you in many conditions and many situations when your computer is not working fine the windows has been corrupted it can help you to fix a problem and go back to the previous stage when the computer was working fine this is really recommended and very important so what you have to do click on your windows search type restore from the suggestion you have to click on create a restore point now here in the suggestion you will be getting a create option in case if this option is not highlighted then you have to click on configure and make sure the system protection has been on now click on create now give any name that you want to give you can also give the date in order to identify it that when exactly you created and then you have to click on create and now this will start creating a restore point and within few seconds only the restore point will be created so click on close now in future if you have any problem and if you want to revert the action simply click on system restore choose a different restore point click on next now choose the date restore point that you created click on next and the computer will be restored okay now next we have to remove all kind of unwanted bloatware that comes with the windows 11 so if you click on your windows icon click on all apps you will find a lot of bloatware that run in the background and majority of the people they don't use it but still it run and occupy a lot of resources that can slow down your performance so what you will have to do right click on the windows icon click on settings from the left in menu option click on apps click on installed apps and here look for the bloatware application that you don't need click on the three dot on the right of it and choose uninstall click uninstall again similarly look for the other applications whichever you don't need click on the three dot on the right side and then click on uninstall this will keep your computer neat and clean so that you should get the better performance and without any kind of lagging issues you can also look for the other third party application whichever you are not using go ahead and uninstall remove everything from your computer which is not required and now next you also need to disable the notifications so many times many notifications are annoying and they also take the resources so what you have to do in the settings only click on system then click on notifications now this will list you all kind of application for which notification has been enabled so whichever you don't want any kind of notification like you don't need the notification from onedrive then you can disable it if you don't need the notification for the default mail application then you can disable it a snipping tool you can disable it so this will help you to get rid of all unwanted notification that keep popping up on your windows 11 so once you are done with this from the left in menu option only click on privacy and security now here in the windows permission click on general now these are the things that you really don't need so go ahead and disable all of them once done go back do the same with the speech inking typing personalization diagnostic and feedback okay disable all of them then come to the app permission now here you will find many kind of application like location camera mic voice activation now many of you might be using it but many people they do not use it so if you don't need it if you don't require it simply go ahead and disable them apart of that if you scroll down you will find many application like email messaging radios that none of the people use it so go ahead and disable these as well once you are done you can close it and now next we have to disable and remove unwanted app from the taskbar so you can see there are many unwanted things that we really don't need in the taskbar so right click on your taskbar click on taskbar settings and here you will find the task view we don't need it disable it 
widgets we don't need it if you use a copilot you can just keep this enabled if you don't need you can go ahead and disable it as well similarly at the bottom you will find other system tray icon and if you click on it so these are the system tray icon that are displayed on the right hand corner okay so if any of them has been enabled here and if you don't want that it should be displayed in the system tray then you should disable it from here i have already done that but you have to look over the list here whichever you don't need go ahead and disable it now next it's also recommended that you should go ahead and create a local account on your windows 11 because many people run their windows 11 with the microsoft account sometimes they forget the password so at least if you have the local account and even it's recommended that you should avoid microsoft account and go with the local account that is more better okay so for that what you will have to do from the left hand menu option only click on accounts then here you have to click on other users then it says add account so you have to click on add account click i don't have this person sign in information then click add a user without a microsoft account now here you have to give a local account name whichever you need so let's say i will type geek then you have to enter the password you can also make it uh, blank if you don't need any kind of password but it's really recommended that you should go ahead and take the password so i will type a password here fill all the security question then click on next and your new local account will now be created and next time when you click on the windows icon and click on this user icon so you will find your new user account over here okay so it's recommended that you should at least have a local account running in the background and now next you have to change the power setting as well so click on your windows search type power cfg.cpl hit the enter key now this will display all kind of power plan now depending on your requirement let's say if you are using a laptop and you're more concerned about your battery backup then you can go and choose the balanced or the power saver plan but if you need the best performance if you are doing the gaming or you need the best performance then either you can go with the high performance or the ultimate performance i will leave a code in the description to enable the ultimate performance or you can watch a video i have already created that okay so depending on your requirement you can choose the power plan from here now next it's also recommended that you should enable the god mood option that give you tons of features and application at one place only so it's very simple right click on your desktop hover up to new click on folder and now you need to rename this folder with the text that you will be getting in the description so copy the text paste here and hit the enter key and as soon as you hit the enter key you will find the folder will be disappeared and this control icon will be created on your desktop so now if you double click on it so you will find all kind of features and applications of windows 11 at one place only so there are tons of options that you get here like you can turn high contrast on or off for which you struggle a lot finding that where exactly these options are being hidden now you can get them at one place only not only this if you want to create a shortcut of it you can simply make a right click on it and create shortcut so this is an amazing mood and this should be enabled on your windows 11 okay now last and finally that is always recommended that you don't have to do once at least you have to do once in a month you have to update your windows and all kind of your driver so to update windows it's very simple click on your windows search type update click on check for update again click on check for update and if there are any kind of update available kindly go ahead and update it and also make sure that this get the latest update as soon as they are available this option has been enabled so that you can get all the quick update okay a part of this what else you can do right click on the windows icon click on device manager and here you will find all kind of your adapters especially you have to update like network adapter like your wi-fi your lan adapter you can make a right click on it click update driver click search automatically and if there are update available it will automatically update it 
similarly you can go ahead and look for the bluetooth your display adapter go ahead and check for if there is any update available then go ahead and update it so that all what setting you have to do guys and this can be really helpful for you in the future as you have made a very important changes on your computer and if you like the video guys make sure you hit the like and subscribe to the channel for more related videos in the future till then take care bye bye